In these times of fast moving beauty trends, Dr. Kiran Kaur Sethi has brought to India the first of its kind holistic facial. Now I have to say I was a little spectacle. Isn't India the land of holistic facials? So I did the best thing I could. I got the facial. And also to tell us all about it, I got Dr. Kiran Kaur Sethi to talk to us. So basically, why is this the first medi-holistic facial in India? Because it actually takes a combination of all different sciences from around the world, from dermatology to Ayurveda to Japanese science to Chinese herbal medicine. And we, we mix it all together to give you a very natural but effective and powerful result. You know, so what happens is you get a bit of um, Japanese Genkin massage where you actually can see facial toning happen just through manual pressure techniques. Then you have a multi-step um, holistic alpha hydroxy acid based Ayurvedic therapy which is you know one after the other after the other fruit derived acids which is all in medicine and derm right we use alpha hydroxy acids and peels but we also get it from Ayurveda which taught us that lower doses done in a multi-step way can actually give you a really nice glow and rejuvenation then we do gua sha massage which is Chinese which uses a stone so you can actually see how your lymphatic drainage will improve and you'll see toning and tightening of your jawline and contours so it's fabulous and you can even see inflammation reduce so all of these steps incorporate pretty much like one different science Eastern and science. Eastern and right. Western. Okay. So Eastern and Western. Mm. And the combination, the integration of all of it is what makes it exciting. Mm. So you get the results of Western, but you get also the benefits of Eastern. Mm. So it's quite beautiful. And so, I mean, I feel good now. How long will this last? So typically it lasts about a few weeks to a month. So out of this, uh, all these things that you did in the facial right now, what, which parts can be done at home, you know, for everyone watching? So there's actually two things you can do. You can do both Japanese Gankin massage, which is actually a pressure point technique on the facial muscle. And that will actually tone your facial muscles before you put on any foundation or makeup. So a lot of Japanese, they use it before putting on makeup so that the contouring is better. Right. And gua sha is also something you can easily do at home. You can buy it. Um, you can even buy ones with rose quartz or jade. It doesn't matter which one. I like rose quartz because it's pretty and apparently it's holistically more healing. Rose quartz itself is more about love and energy. So you can use that in the lymphatic drainage motions, right? This way, you can do it along here. If you have sinus problems, you can even do it around your brow. It's fabulous and it's something you can do either every day or a few times a week. Right. And then um, when it comes to the Ayurvedic alpha hydroxy acids, you can actually get lovely alpha hydroxy acid based creams and you can do them a few times a week as well. I also love um, detox waters. So I've been giving my patients a lot of detox waters. Like in the morning, it's um, lemon, ginger, honey, turmeric, black pepper, mm. all heated, mixed all mixed together. Oh. And in the evening, we use ajmain, sanf, jeera, mm. a mix of these herbs, mm. a mix of these seeds and herbs, mm. and um, we drink that in the evening. And it improves lymphatic flow, mm. as well as also um, improving immunity and glow. As always, Dr. Kiran, a pleasure having you with us. Thank you. Full of insight, full of tips. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. See you next time.